Our Lord in today's gospel reading is challenging all of us that we need to go beyond what others do. In other words, he wants us to be truly Christian. So he says even the Gentiles do the same. He's talking about, you know, tax collectors who are the most shunned people of society, the ones who are considered the greatest sinners. Well, isn't it true that they also greet their family members, greet their friends, and, and are polite to them and are nice to them? So he's what our Lord is saying that as his followers, as true Christians, we are called to love everyone. Not just our family members, not just our friends, not just our close associates or people that we work with, but to be kind and generous to everyone, including our enemies, people who persecute us, people who cause us pain, suffering, humiliation. Our Lord is saying we need to love them. And of course, we, we agree that this is, this is not an easy thing to do. You know, yesterday I, I mentioned, you know, um, I gave the kind of analogy of, of a grandmother looking at her, her grandchildren and these sentiments, these feelings of love that she would have towards them. And, you know, why did I use a grandmother? Why not a grandfather? Or why didn't I say grandparents? And the reason for that is that when we think of the family unit, the mother is usually seen as the heart of the family. The father is often referred to as the head of the family. And usually the fathers are the authoritarians. They're the ones who discipline the children. It's not that they don't love their children. They do. But, but the mother is the one that little children run to for comfort when they are afraid. Sometimes to, to, to the father also. But the woman is the heart of the family. So the mother, the grandmother, we kind of associate this, this love more fully with them. Now, I think it's true to say that there are some bad mothers out there, there's maybe some bad grandmothers also, you know, there's some women who unfortunately are drug addicts and they don't raise their children properly or for whatever reason they're kind of messed up, they don't raise their children properly. But in general we could say that most mothers, most grandmothers love their children, love their grandchildren. and. You know, imagine, you know, these vicious criminals or people that we see on the street who are street people and they're very dirty and they're very rude and um, they have a grandmother. They have a mother. And imagine that they had a good grandmother or a good mother who truly loved them. And mothers and grandmothers will always love their children or their grandchildren, no matter what, no matter what they do, even if they're vicious criminals, even if they kill someone, they will still love them. They will be sad that they had committed these crimes, but they will still love them. So what I'm trying to say is we need to have this view of a grandmother towards everyone around us. Because the person that we dislike, the person who we might consider our enemy, they have a grandmother. And the point I wanted to make is not just that we should have this view, but rather that this is the view that God has towards us. He loves us. He loves us more than grandmothers love their grandchildren. And he cares about each one of us. And we continue to offend him. We continue to commit sins. But he doesn't stop loving us. He doesn't stop forgiving us. And this is the attitude that our Lord wants us to have. So when he talks about being perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect, he's saying we need to have this attitude of love towards everyone. And if we do, then it makes it so much easier for us to obey the commandments, which we heard, you know, the reference to in today's first reading, that if, if we are faithful to the Lord, we obey his commandments. And our Lord gives us this new commandment to love our enemies, um, you know, and, and, and to love our neighbor as ourselves, to love one another, even as he has loved us, to deny ourselves in, in, in loving others, including our enemies. So why is it that we despise our enemies and, and hate certain people? It's probably because they've offended us in one way or another. They've hurt us. They're hu they've humiliated us. And we don't like that. We don't want that. We don't want that to be repeated. But you see, here's the reality is that whenever we suffer these, these kind of attacks or persecution or perhaps even martyrdom, in reality, it's a blessing in disguise provided that we have the right attitude towards these things.
So in other words, it's very unfortunate if somebody were to be tortured and, and martyred for the faith, but the reality is it's a blessing. You know, to be a martyr in heaven is a great honor. You would receive more glory for it. You would receive a higher degree of glory in heaven. Same as when people, you know, annoy us and irritate us or make us impatient. Well, those are opportunities for us to grow in virtue. So God is allowing these things to happen so that we can grow in virtue and in goodness and in holiness to practice love, to practice forgiveness. So in other words, we need to change our attitude towards our enemies and we need to strive to love them as God loves them, to try to love them more than we love ourselves. This is what it means to be truly Christian. And I'm sure we all fall short, so let us ask God to help us to grow in love of him and to grow in love of neighbor.